with you, Gwen? Finish it up and make it fast. I need a miracle and you're it. You know what? You can stuff your pity, okay? I've been living with HIV for years, so I don't need you suddenly being nice to me or taking it easy on me because of it. I was trying to be nice, but since you find that so offensive, let me point out something else you seem to have missed. HIV positive or not, you act like a jerk, you'll be treated accordingly. I would stop flirting if your Stalin-like charm hadn't driven me to seek company elsewhere. Do these lines actually work on some women? I don't know. I haven't tried that one yet. You bring out the best of me, Robin. Hmm, I was under the impression that every woman in this hospital brought out the best of me. Well, all the pretty ones, which would include you if you'd smile. You know you smile, right, when the corner of your mouth turns up. Just ask Dr. Scorpio here. She keeps reminding me that I'm about as shallow as a mud puddle and have all the moral integrity of a gossip columnist. Hey, right, Robin? Robin? Robin. Just hey, exhaustion. Hey. Oh, she's burning up. No, I'm fine. Just shut up. Listen. Stop. Man, I don't care who you have to put in the hallway. She gets her own room. Yeah. No, I don't want preferential Just shut treatment. Up. You are my patient now when you're coming? God, aren't you the forceful one? I have no idea. I'm glad that you didn't have to be a living donor for your father. I mean, if something had gone wrong, you could have died. But you said you'd be sorry if you lost me. to find joy in um, the unexpected. I'd like the most of it. I am not looking for an emotional bond. It's kind of funny anyway. All of your lectures about how I live my small life, how I play things safe. You're the one that turned out to be a coward. Congratulations, you got what you wanted. We're done. I need to tell you. BP 110 over 72, heart rate of 124. No. You need to know, right. please. I have AIDS. Dr. Drake, did you cut yourself? Looks like you got your committed relationship by default, Dr. Scorpio. I would give anything for this not to have happened to you. My temperature's down. I'm not contagious. It may not be good for much, but I could use a little loving. Okay. A little Dr. Scorpio loving. Mm -hmm. <laughs> this 
still negative. Oh. Not every time I call, I feel like I'm playing Russian roulette. This is low. Even for you. I mean, you can be a jerk in your OR about your patient or throw a tantrum every time another doctor makes a suggestion or, God forbid, tries to help you. But at least have the decency to keep it on a professional basis. Don't cloud the issue with phony romance. There's nothing phony about it. I love you. Will you stop saying that? I realize that I need you. I trust you. I admire you. And you can be wrong a lot of the times and you can drive me crazy a lot of the times but i love you completely i just i thought you should know i think that you are amazing and brilliant and you're also really funny and charming you're my best friend. I love you. Well, I've known for a long time. <laughs> it's nice to hear. so much it hurts. That's no, stitches. No. I swear it's my heart bursting. Robin, I don't want to settle down. Or be domesticated. And I'm sorry, but I don't look at you as the mother of my future children because I don't want kids. And if you need to find a guy that is the future father of your children, then I'm sorry, but that's not me. Today is an emotional day. I mean, we just watched Nicholas bury the love of his life. Yeah, and we're right here. I suppose we could do this. We could run with the emotion. We could go ahead and risk our hearts again. But really, what are the chances of you waking up tomorrow morning and realizing that you want to be a father? I wish I could say the chances were good, Robin. Well, I would rather have you break my heart with the truth than a lie. if you would just hold me. You're pregnant. 
this is your idea of a joke? I, I swear. Kelly, I swear. This is not funny. No, I already double checked. Say under, there's been a mistake. Under the circumstances, I am as surprised as you are. Just say anything oh, other than the fact pregnant. that pregnant. I'm, I'm pregnant? You're pregnant. You're a good four weeks along, which would put conception... <sighs> Around Christmas? I'm the baby's father, aren't I? Education, Yale, all that research. Mm. Paris, look at us now. Burgers, beer, and a baby on the way. Uh, don't apologize for being pregnant. This is it's perfect. But it's weird, right? I mean, I, I'm morphing into this completely different person. Two, actually. So one one is your, um, your, where you finish, and the other one is, is your The last. baby's kicking. The baby's responding to your voice. I'm not a stupid man. I know Robin is a woman that I'll always love. I see the baby going inside of her and feel the kicking and, you know, I'm odd. I'm starting to realize how much this family means to me. And I get it. The irony's not lost on me. It's the one thing that I always said I never wanted. It turns out the most important thing in the world to me. Robin and my child. Start traditions, have our love grow every day. When I think about the future, you know us, I honestly I can't wait to get started. And I just hope that Robin, I hope that you can find a way to feel the same. Say hello to your baby girl. Congratulations, Robin. You have a healthy baby girl. As your parents, we promise you that no matter what happens, we're going to give you a life full of joy, and courage, and gratitude for every single moment that we have together. Oh. 
thought I always wanted. I just didn't know. <laughs> Someone not as nice as me would have said I told you so. Oh, <laughs> but not you, of course. <laughs> You know, I really didn't think this much love was possible mm -hmm. for you, for our little baby girl. We love you, too. Marry me. Really? You want to try that again? Yeah. Either one of us has been married, and mm. if we are going to screw it up, we might as well do it together. <gasps> Emma, tell Mommy to say yes. <laughs> tell Daddy to say when. Well, how about, uh, Christmas? Well, it is Emma's first Christmas, so... Why don't we do it the week up? Yeah. The power vested in me by the Lord our God, Jesus Christ, and the state of New York, I now pronounce you man and wife. What God has brought together, let no man pull apart. Please kiss your bride. <laughs>